A microscope that is only a few millimeters in size can help to consider cell changes in real time. This is the goal of the EU project ChIPScope. Scientists led by Dr. Hutomo Wasisto in Braunschweig helped to make this project come true. The overall goal of the ChIPScope is to develop a scientific and also technological basis for a completely new optical super resolution microscopy uh, with a resolution down to uh, less than 50 uh, nanometer, which is around about 1,000 times smaller than the human hair. And this uh, technology will be based on the semiconductor nano LED arrays, which is our competence uh, in our institute to guarantee the success of the project. So uh, we, uh, Institute of Semiconductor Technology at U Brunswick, headed by Professor Andreas Wack, has been collaborating with other six partners in the European Union the hope of the scientists is to be able to produce smaller and better microscopes in the future. With ChIPScope, even the smallest structures should be visible. All of, all of us have already uh, known uh, optical microscopy and also have already been using since elementary school or also in the high school where we are interested to see uh, the animal cells and also the plant cells or even human cells. However, that for today's microscope, the resolution is limited to the physical law of the diffractions, which is correlated to the wavelength of the light. For the visible light range, uh, it is around about 200 up to 300 nanometer, and this is not enough uh, to see such a single protein or single DNA, uh, which is more interesting to be investigated. Therefore, uh, for the next uh, four years in this ChIPScope project, we will be developing the highest uh, resolutions, uh, nano LED arrays, uh, which will be used as a light source of our novel microscope. The Laboratory for Emerging Nanometrology of the Braunschweig University of Technology provides an important component for the microscope. We from the Institute of Semiconductor Technology have several possibilities to do the nanostructuring of semiconductor devices. So we have the possibility to produce the LED array here at our own facilities. With these techniques, which we will combine in a new and different approach, we will be able to obtain the LED array, which is the main component of our ChIPScope microscope. Our LED array contains several light sources, which are LEDs with a small pitch. These light sources can be driven independently and illuminate the object with, which lies directly on the LED array. The light from the light sources is then diffracted by the object and is registered by the photodetector above. From the signal of the photodetector, you can determine the shape of the object. It's then called a shadow image. And this is how the microscope works, which we develop here. So far, developed high-resolution microscopes need a lot of space. This is to be fundamentally changed by the new technology. Possibilities for alternative applications are to be created. In general, our microscope uh, can be applied in any field of research that uses optical microscopy today uh, as well. Uh, for example, medicine. Um, as there's no need for a complex setup with lenses, um, it can be held compact and it's robust as well, meaning that it can help researchers to take uh, microscopic images far away from laboratories. Um, we hope to produce cheap microscopes so that it can be applied in develop developing countries um, as well. We hope to create a first uh, prototype by autumn 2017, uh, definitely by the end of the year. And after the successful realization of the microscope, um, our partners from Vienna um, will conduct first tests with patients um, with cells from patients with um, pulmonary fibrosis.